Hey everyone, it's Michael Dougal. I sell residential real estate here in the greater Toronto area. And during this video, I'm going to update you on our real estate market with the current coronavirus situation. I'm shooting this video March 25th, 2020, and it seems like things really cannot get any worse. If you haven't already seen the video that I produced on how the coronavirus is affecting our real estate market, then I'll put an image and a link right here. Do go ahead and watch that video. Um, I published that video February 10th, 2020, so just about six weeks weeks ago. Although, of course, I'm making this video now because the coronavirus situation is a lot more severe. Firstly, I'd like to draw your attention to this article here by the Toronto Star. And I feel that this article summarizes our market very well as the headline is prices continue to soar in Toronto real estate market despite COVID-19 crisis. And this is exactly what I'm seeing is that prices have yet to decline. This could just be because of all of the sellers who've sold their homes at the beginning of the year, they still have to buy a home. So they're still looking and serious buyers are out there. As per the article, the house prices are continued to trend up by 14.5% year over year so far this month in March. The number of sales also rose last week, 18% year over year. However, that's down by 55% from the previous week. Based on what I'm seeing and my predictions of how the coronavirus is going to affect our market, I'm not predicting that prices will decline, but I'm predicting that our days on market is going to increase and as well, the asking price to sold price ratio will decrease. For example, if the average property was selling at 99% of its asking price, we're more likely to see that number hover somewhere around 97% in a couple of months from now. As I'm in the market, studying the market, seeing what's happening, talking to buyers and sellers every single day, there were two particular properties which intrigued me, which I want to share with you. Um, the first is this property by 37 Hawkesbury Drive. This is by Bayview and Shepherd, Toronto C15. And what's interesting is, this property just sold despite it being on the market for 124 days, which shows you that we're still in a strong market where buyers are buying. This property has been listed since November 18th, 2019. And take a look at that. It didn't sell in November, not December, not January, not February, but it just happened to sell now March 22nd at 95% of its asking price. And then this other property, which really intrigued me, different area. This is by Kennedy and 16th and Markham. But what's fascinating is this property sold at $230,000 over the asking price. I've been watching this listing carefully because they listed it on March 16th, 2020, and they held back offers for seven days. And we're here thinking, why would people hold back offers in this type of market now? It's not as if we're going to get a ton of buyers looking. But surprisingly, seven days later on the offer date, the property sold for $230,000 over the asking price. So what so is people are clearly still buying and it is probably not a bad idea to list your property just given that looking to the future five to six months down, stock markets down, a lot of people are losing their jobs, a lot of companies are going out of business and prices may decline. Other changes in the market are just really that technology has never been so important. A lot of sellers have not taken their homes off the market, but they've left their listings up and are just not permitting showings. They're understanding that a lot of these buyers are taking virtual walkthroughs of homes. They're looking at the pictures and then they're making their decision before they go out and buy and do shop. And a lot of the buyers, they're taking the necessary precautions. We're informing buyers to wear gloves prior to showings. Don't bring everyone in the family, just bring the major decision makers and only go out and look at a property, of course, if you are quite interested and you are on the verge of making an offer. Sellers who are interviewing agents for the job of selling their home are Rather than meeting in person, they're actually doing Zoom conference calls or we're doing uh, FaceTime where we're asking our prospective sellers to just give us a walk through the home and then we can give them any advice as far as any recommendation to make their home more presentable. And of course, we're having the conversation with the seller to see if we're a good fit for each other and we have a good connection as it is our responsibility to represent their interests. In other markets, things are a lot more severe. In New York, they've actually banned showing. So buyers are not allowed to go to properties for at least two weeks. And here, there's no such rules been put in place, but one rule which has been put in place 
is two showings cannot occur at the same time. So for example, if a listing is on the market, it can only be viewed by one group of buyers at a time. It can't be such that two groups of buyers represented by different agents can enter that house during that same hour interval. As always, stay safe and I'll continue to keep you updated on our real estate market given the current scenario. If you're considering buying or selling or investing, then call me, call me, call me. It's Michael Dougal. My phone number is 416-671-5218. And as well, I've recently switched to a new brokerage where I'm an owner and a partner in, and I'm looking to expand my team. So if you know any agents that are looking for opportunity, then as well have them call me on my phone number is 416-671-5218. And I'll look forward to seeing you all next time.